All right, so back to work and school on a chilly note, but this is likely to be the coolest day of this week as Action News Jack's meteorologist Corey Sima tracks a warming trend. We're into the low 70s today, mid to upper 70s by Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday looks to be the warmest day of this week out ahead of another cold front that will bring some rain late Thursday into Friday and then much cooler air for the upcoming weekend. A little bit more like winter ought to feel. Locally, the big story that we'll follow for you beginning today and over the next several days will be jury selection in the murder trial of a teenager who is charged in the 2021 death of Tristan Bailey in the Patriot Oaks Durban Crossing community in Northwest St. Johns County. She went missing early in the day on Mother's Day 2021. Hours later, her remains discovered in a wooded area in the same neighborhood. The teenager, who is charged as an adult, now 16-year-old Aiden Fucci, is uh, facing the charge as an adult, and he will have a six-member jury because not eligible for the death penalty being a minor. We'll see whether or not uh, this jury selection and how it goes through the course of the next several days. Right now, the trial is being held in St. Johns County. The judge may consider a change of venue, but only if there are issues with the uh, potential jurors. So it'll be a storyline we'll follow for you throughout the week ahead. Special legislative session getting underway today. And we'll follow that storyline on issues related to Disney and the Reedy Creek uh, development that uh, has been in place for all these years, voter information, and much, much more. Nationally and internationally, we're following China's reaction to the U.S.'s shootdown of that uh, alleged spy balloon off the coast of South Carolina and the search for survivors and victims. Now at least 1,300 deaths as the, at the time of this recording following a powerful earthquake near Turkey and Syria. We'll continue to update, update that story. Throughout Jacksonville's morning news, you can get our breaking news alerts when you download the free WOKV app.